Good day and welcome to February 2015 analytical geometry question 3. Diagram below points P5 and 13, Q minus 1 and 5, S7, 5 and 8 are given. SR is parallel to PQ where R is the y-intercept of SR. X-intercept of SR is P, QR is join. So this is what they've given us. There's my point R, y-intercept, Q1 and 5. QP, R, S is parallel to each other, so they should have the same gradient line. And there we have the coordinates of P, S, and Q given. All right, and we have an angle of inclination there, alpha. All right, question one. Calculate the length of PQ. So we want to know how far is it from P to Q. And distance formula would be 5 minus minus 1 all squared plus 13 minus 5 all squared. Right? So PQ, X2 minus X1 all squared plus Y2 minus Y1 all squared. Square root 5 plus 1 all squared plus 13 minus 5. So that's 36 plus 64 gives me 100, square root of 100 gives me 10, right? So one mark for the formula, one mark for substitution, one mark for 10. Right, next question, calculate the gradient of PQ. So now we want gradient PQ. So gradient PQ, Y2 minus Y1, X2 minus X1. Right, P is 5 and 13 and S is 75, 7,5 and Eight. Oh, now Q is 5 and minus 1. So there's my coordinates for P, 13 and 5. Here's my coordinates for Q, minus 5, minus, minus 1. So there you see 5 and 13, minus 1 and 5. All right? So that gives me 8 over 6, 13 minus 5, 8. 5 minus minus 1, 5 plus 1 is 6. 2 goes in 8, 4 times. 2 goes in 6, 3 times, leaving. 4 over 3. So I hope you follow, I hope you understand. In the next section, I'm going to look at question 3.3 and 3.4. Right? So those are the two questions we'll be answering next. Goodbye, God bless, all the best.